welcome back to the oaks we are stood on the edge of our, what was our sugar beet field um but we had um, a message from the farm sim fairies and they said you've got an opportunity to swap your crop swap your crop um so we have done there was a perfectly legitimate vote went out or a poll and uh, carrots was the uh, the winner of that vote by around i think it was 73 74 percent the last time i looked so yeah a clear winner now one interesting thing i have noticed is required tires even at this stage so this is the ready to harvest remove foliage stage says all tires and tracks now that could be quite helpful because i don't think the carrot harvester and we've got ourselves a shop point here so this bad boy the devolf zk is that meant to be like 4 se I think my Roman numerals or the ZK IV SE we'll go for four um we do not need GPS we are not gonna buy it but we are going to lease it for 32 grand there we go now hopefully that should be haha <laughs> it is right in front of us now I've not used this kit so I've not done any form of testing, so whoa, slow down the old walking. But that is an absolute beast. Oh, it's a single tire wheel at the back. Very, very cool. <laughs> right, so let's hop in. Turn on the engine. Now, let's have a look where we need to position ourselves. So. Uh, I wonder whether we... Let's get unfolded. <laughs> Cool. Okay, and then I suppose it's just turn it on, lower it down. Jobs are good, and okay, right. So let's turn that off a second. Let's bring up. It's fact. Let's look what field we are. Eighty-one. So we'll see if uh, auto drive can handle this. So that's set to that. Let's get out of here into the new holland and we will first let's look where we can flog carotons so they can go to the farmer's market or sell everything is better okay so Mm, let me just i need to think whether we've got the sell everything looped into the auto drive okay so let's go for for now harvesting and build 81 and we'll go with did we have the selling point is it put in here no okay right let me go and sort that out on the auto drive in fact no what we'll do is we'll set it to go to the farmers market first right that's going to go to the wait point we'll hop out get back into the devolf get it full and then at least then we can um just double check things and hope things work out all right so 
we'll start off and try and get this thing all lined up. Um, and I'll catch back with you in a minute. Well, we've had our first glitch. Um, <laughs> got... So we were obviously... We were using the New Holland. Okay, got to the corner. Um, moved the New Holland, because I'm using Follow Me. Um, auto drive didn't seem to want to play um, with the new halves, which is which is fair enough. I'm not knocking that. Um, so yeah, moved the new Holland back. That then went into orbit, and the carrot harvester or the dwarf harvester ended up on its roof. Um, <laughs> so I have no idea. In fact, if we look here that's the new holland <laughs> in orbit somewhere um is it actually showing up on the map anywhere come on oh yeah is it showing How odd. Can I even tab to it? I tried before and I couldn't. Um, so yeah, I no idea what went on. Um, but, follow me, seems to be working okay. It gets a little bit yeah, in the corners. Um, but yeah, it kind of is what it is, isn't it? It's all very new. Um and stuff is going to need updates, so I'm not overly fussed um, now. How's the best way to do this without causing a catastrophic incident? I think we'll just go down here. Hopefully the worker will then be able to sort itself out. No, it's got stuck on a tree. <laughs> oh dear easily fixed there we go oh i don't want you to disappear <laughs> just showing you this raw footage so you can see the struggles but the yield actually you know we're a what three meter working width i think it is control f there we go that's going to pull to there we can get back in here lower down and go um yeah the yield actually is pretty good um so what i think i'm going to do is um we'll drive this for a bit and then we will experiment with cosplay i think um and we will do the karting um at least most of it um there may be the odd in fact that's what we're going to do I will cart until it's full and then we'll send it off to a sell point, whatever that's going to be um, and they can do that automatically, come back I'll take over here and you know rinse and repeat but um, yeah it's a very cool looking machine um, the textures for the crops seem to look a lot better um, I think they're still like the sort of sheet texture um, but yeah they look pretty good um, yeah and it's a very clever piece of kit it tends to move the front so if I steer sometimes it realigns the front header depending on how many roads you're on or whatever but yeah I'm missing loads now I'm doing that but hey Right, how full are we? Nearly 75%. We might get around. <laughs> oh dear. Could do with a fleet of these, I reckon. But yeah, it's cool. Cool to use a new kit. There's obviously a little bit of a, a bug somewhere. It might be something that I did. And you never know, I suppose. Um, 
that it's entirely possible. So we are on to the second headland. I did just let course play uh, drive around the first headland um, and we picked up about 10,000 litres ish that I'd missed probably. Um, this is incredibly difficult. Um, now the fence has sprung into action as well, so that's just going to complicate things. Um, let's just let's just take a minute, shall we, to stop you? <laughs> Thanks for your service. Get out of the way. Right now, back to the job in hand. So, um, is that? the worker just disappeared really <laughs> so the corners are tricky um it's i say it's like a forage harvester but it's not in the sense that it can actually throw <laughs> um forage harvester can throw the chaff can't it further with this you need to be underneath the auger at all times or it just stops which is fair enough i have no idea how this is done in real life um whether they do just i don't know cut down the field to open it up first or what but yes it's um time consuming <laughs> But when it runs and we're underneath it, it's fine. Um, my only thing is as well, and you might see it in a minute, but it might just be my shoddy driving, is um, it zooms in and out like a real pest. There you go. Stop. Right. Cruise control on. If we get round here, not going to do it now, is it? There you go. Just zooms in and out, which is mildly annoying but oh no I've set that on the other <laughs> see that it'll carry on because there's no crop there but because I'm a noob and I've set it on the wrong uh, part of the course stop please thank you let's put the course on so we can see Oh dear, best lay plans, eh? <laughs> um, we did, sorry, and to confirm, we got about £4,000 for a full trailer load of, um, I need to say sugar beet then. Let's just put on that one. There we go. Right. Okay, you're waiting. Super. No, no, yes. Um, yes, we got 4,000 quid um, for our first load of carrots, which I have no idea if it's good or bad, but we are selling straight off the field. Now, I have. Um, so, when Court Farm video I mentioned that I was doing the update to the bunk pack. Ooh. Get back on. No, uh, <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Well, look what's back. <laughs> um, so, how did we do that? Well, luckily, um, the first part of this episode was recorded on Friday. Um, this is now Saturday, and obviously been out of the game. And luckily, it had reset itself. Uh, to the store point that we had got so yeah didn't have to go hunting in the xml for it or anything like that we are on to or we are on the eighth uh headland eight out of ten so we're, we're getting there um don't get me wrong the progress is slow and i have been doing a fair amount of it off camera because as you can see turning is um what would the word be painful i think um now 
hindsight being what it is um ideally we would have done probably a couple of headlands going clockwise the way we're going now and then i probably should have cleared the course and set it to go anti-clockwise or i didn't um so yeah that's on me learning new piece of kit as in the devolve harvester there is lots of devolve harvesters <laughs> um if you've watched one of the what would it be episode 11 of the diddly squat multiplayer you will have heard the ribbing that i got from disturbed um yeah we were having a bit of a conversation offline and i hadn't been paying attention so yeah um so what are we doing we are harvesting carrots um really um but we're still following the process before so harvester is on course play i am manually driving currently there is no uh auto drive or follow me um involved for the unloading of the harvester when they get to 100 percent, stick on auto drive it clears off to the farmer's market and delivers the carrots at about four thousand five hundred ish pounds per load um and then when they get back to the field turn them off auto drive otherwise they become a bit of a nuisance and try and drive up the rear of the harvester in fact the fence should be back soon i think um but yeah all in all there you go it's not going too bad i think you know you can't complain that and um it's been spoke about a lot recently because people just seem to think that i don't know they moan at giants that stuff doesn't work but it's virtually fact one moment callers let's turn that off before it starts to intervene engine off as well and back to the new holland so yeah whenever something new releases there's going to be glitches um it can't work perfectly with every single mod um auto drive and being one of them you know it's clearly it recognizes it as some form of harvester because it will sit quite happily and try and position itself to the left of the carrot harvester or vegetable harvester um so it's clearly not quite recognizing it as the right type of vehicle which brings me on to um so for those of you that don't watch disturbed and i would imagine there's very few of you because um I think a lot of well, some of his subscribers subscribe to me which is lovely um but he loves the ks i'm gonna say 6b uh, root crop harvester um and you know i think we used it on the western wilds he's got it on glen larthen glen leathen glen larthen whatever you want to call it um and yeah so it does sugar beet and potatoes so i thought oh i'll have a go at modifying it to use the new um fruit type so carrots beetroot parsnips so went into the xml and changed all the different categories brought it into this save which was probably stupid because obviously this is quite an advanced save um and for it to go wrong now would be well catastrophic really um so bought it in leased it and uh went bought it to the field just to try it out turned it on and the game just uh crapped itself basically um 
it just froze. There was more lure errors than you could throw a stick at. <laughs> I had to like force quit the game very quickly, delete that mod out of my folder, and uh, yeah, reload the save. And thankfully, it all works fine. Um, it turns out there's a new harvester category, I think. I don't I haven't looked any more into it. I've not had the time, but yeah, you think, oh, that's got to be easy. You know, I can change a few items in XML. <laughs> no, no, I cannot. I was panicking. I was thinking, oh, no. It would have got me out of doing this carrot harvest, though, wouldn't it? But anyway, so yeah. Um, until you, I, I don't know, I don't know how it works. Because it's DLC stuff, it's locked away. But I've seen on... On Facebook, that some people have already managed to convert them, and I think Mark Thor's got one that works as well. So, don't know. Um, yeah, because he did. He posted me a link uh, in my Discord to his Discord, showing that. So I don't know. Yeah, they're obviously a lot cleverer than me. Um, but yeah, so that's where we are, and so yeah, a bit of a moan. Just give things time you know it's not always going to be 100% perfect so and the thing as well is you know it's pretty um, I'm not going to say straightforward because it's not but when you you know harvesting beets and potatoes I, I guess because they've the harvesters have a capacity that's what we're used to or I'm used to I'm not going to say we I've got everybody with the same brush, sorry. Um, but, yeah, I think it's... You get used to having a capacity and only having to unload it, you know, when it's full. There we go, another four and a half grand in. Um, so, yeah, this is different, but... It gets the old brain cells thinking, you know, tried... Of course, playing auto drive together, that didn't work. Tried follow me... That worked um, reasonably well, actually, for the headlands. Um, or some of the headlands, at least, the first couple. Um, but yeah, following that, you just have to do it the hard way. Uh -huh. um, so yeah, that's, that's where we are with it, really. Um, I'm at the point where this has now got an hour and 53 minutes left. Um, whether we will get it all done. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, Tiger. Easy. There we go. Uh, um, whether we get it all done in this episode or not. I'm trying to catch these carrots because they are actually being wasted. Um, yeah, whether we'll get it all done in this episode or not. I don't know. Um, normally, I get the oaks always takes longer because they are significantly bigger fields. But this is, yeah, time consuming to say the least. Now we're going to lose loads here. Please don't waste them. Yeah, Jane. Um, but, what was I saying? I was explaining something, wasn't I? Yeah, so I always sort of factor that in, that the oats is potentially going to take, no, a lot longer, because um, field size. So, I generally, generally record in order of video release. So, on the week that you'll see this, which is next week for me, um... I will have done the court farms video first and then this and then a Saxthorpe. So with it being Saturday <laughs> um we're a little bit behind at the minute. So yeah, we will see. We'll see how we get on. Um I'm hoping that the up and downs will be quicker. Just because it's easy to follow in a straight line than it is around all the corners so that's my logic there 
Um, but yeah, we will see how we get on. Uh, it might be a might be a two-parter. We will see because yeah, I need to get a sax thought one done as well, and could ideally do with editing. Well, I do need to edit Sunday's multiplayer video and get that uploaded, and Monday's court farm video. Unless I can sneak that in Sunday morning. Busy Sunday afternoon. My mate's coming down with his partner and their daughter. So we're going to go out for some grub, which will be cool. So yeah, um, wowzers, that's nearly a 12-minute chat, ramble, rant, explanation. So I will see you once the headlands are done and probably when we've done a couple of up and down rows, I reckon. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you in about half an hour, probably. So I wasn't actually too far off when I said I'll see you in about half an hour. <laughs> Uh, um, so things have changed so we've done the headlands and then I don't know if you can see you can't quite but the way I'd set horseplay was it was starting to just go at angles and I thought it's just going to take an age so what I've done is I've cleared the course and in the aid of testing with fingers for inverted commas um, this is now on a base game worker um, and, and to be fair um, the first couple of passes well the first pass was a little bit iffy because I wasn't sure whether it was going to turn left or right we were coming up in this direction um, but yeah you know it, it's not don't get me wrong we're not going to be not in the crop every time lands would have been better um, but it's working really well so base game workers are just as good as uh, course play so all it does is there you go it sort of harvests it waits and then I need to get my foot on the brake to get out of the way quickly because it done half just turn quick there you go that'll position itself we can then spin round wait for it to straighten itself up and then get under the auger again and off we all go together happily harvesting carrots down the field cruise control on here comes the fence so we'll jump out in a minute and turn that off of auto drive now Saturday morning as I said news just in so Eagles is a subscriber to the channel uh, and and uh, on the Discord and on Disturbs Discord as well he's just had a baby well not him personally, his missus so massive congratulations to you all hope you are all well and yeah it's just like it's nice, it's cool don't even, never met the bloke but you just think, ah, oh, heartwarming. Right, enough of that soppy malarkey. Let's find ourselves a vent to stop working. There we go. Back to the New Holland. There we go. Cruise control back on. And jobs are good then. And if you, I don't know if it's going to do it at the minute because we are on a straight road, but you. You can, there you go, you can see the, the head moving for some reason. It must just be off slightly the uh, 180 degrees, but very clever bit of kit. Again, a Giants mod model. Very, very detailed. See all the engine and all that lot in there. Very technical term there. <laughs> But yeah, we're actually, it seems like we're making some decent progress now. It seems quicker, as I thought it would. Um, you know, rather than having to faff in the corners, you sort of stop, let all the carrots unload. The harvester then does its quick 180. I get underneath the auger, and we're off again. So, yeah, rinse and repeat. Um, and we'll see... I will see in a minute how long the video is so far and uh, yeah we may do a part two in another episode oh overshot there we go 
to stop, wait for it to unload, and then quickly get out of the way. There we go. Not quick enough. <laughs> Oh dear. I think 10 headlands was a good shout though. It's uh, plenty for the worker to turn around and it's not missing bits of an end. So, ooh, jobs are good and yeah, they're just, in-game workers are brutal. There we go. Oh, and I'm not in the right place either. <laughs> so yeah, not helping things. If I got out of the way, things would probably run even smoother. So we've been plodding on up and down and I now understand why giants have made it so that uh, you can drive on the crops without destroying them. Um, because if you think of um, console, you don't have horse plates, stop. Thank you. That's going to be full. That'll do. Yeah, just leave it there. There we go. Um, I want to get into the harvester now. And stop you. Turn that off. We can also stop you. Um, oh, sorry. Right. Concentration. Um, yeah, you can understand why now. So, so if you're on console and you want to do harvest with the self-propelled one you don't have course play or auto drive right you don't need auto drive you don't have course play you only have a base game worker which will go up and down like we've been doing um and you'd lose half your crop um so i, I understand the logic now that makes complete and utter sense um all right might not be how they do it in real life probably not but, oh, I'll just find your way out from there. There you go. Come on. Um, so, yeah, I understand. Um, and that is going to be it for today. Um, I might do a bit more off-screen um, as and when I get a chance. But uh, we're already well over the 30-minute uh, mark. Um, and... Yeah, I need to have a little rest from it. But it's cool. I quite like it. I like the way that it looks. There we go, another four and a half grand. Um, I like the fact that we can um, kind of use it on course play and sort of manually unload. Um, and then when, you know, auto drive will get an update at some point. Um, as well, course play might do to, you know, work with these beast of a things. But yes, quite cool, massive job. Um, but as I was saying to Disturbed, um, on a chat, every field on the Oaks is massive. So, you know, either way, it was going to be a big job. So we will continue this next time. We may also, in fact, before we leave, let's just have a quick check on productiones that is all done we've got 487,000 litres of wheat dry wheat nearly a quarter of a million litres ish excuse me of dry barley the sugar beet is still going bless it um and we've got is the silage done yet we've got 817,000 litres of silage um, and we've still got the chaff fermenting um, over in the two bunkers so next time we'll finish the carrots however much is left um, and we'll start to sell things um, you know we December's a good time for canola soybeans yeah decent price now to be fair um, actually no it's not it's awful um, but yeah, we'll start to wrap things up. Um, probably going to take, I don't know, two more episodes maybe. Um, but we'll see. I'm in no rush, as you can see from leaving this job um, halfway through. <laughs> I don't know. Right, I'm rambling on. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in 
the next one. Take care, everyone.